So I'm going to assume that this is a genuine question and that there is a very quick answer to this question, but I think I'll use some of the time, inshallah, to give some advice as well and give you some perspective because a lot of the people talking about the mahar here on this app are people who are like not even taking marriage seriously. Like they're clearly not even like in the marriage arena. Yeah, a lot of them, okay? So like, so the quick answer is, oh, of course, right? Like it's the woman's right. It's her right to receive a mahar that she's agreed to. Right, like it's it's not it's not like whether you give a mahar or not, it's not negotiable, brothers. Right, like that's her right that she receives receives a mahar. Okay, so the next thing I'd say on that note, right, it's her right to receive a mahar that she agrees to. But brothers, you don't have to agree to it, right? You can just say no. That's ridiculous, obviously, and I'll just look elsewhere. Right, like you can do that. Right. So what I encourage the brothers to do, inshallah, is very early in the process. Ask her what her expectations towards the mahar are. Like a lot of the time the sisters on this app, they say the mahar is like a judge of the man, right? Whether he's really willing to provide. It's a judge of the woman too, right? If she has no regard whatsoever as to what realistic financial expectations are, that's a reflection of her too, brothers, inshallah. So like, so you're with, well within your rights very early on. Like, what's your name? Where are you from? What do you expect as the mahar? Like, that, that, that's a way of you displaying that you are serious about getting married. Like, you're serious about providing this woman with her rights, and you care about her, what her demands are, right? But when you're that early, you've not kind of been wrapped up emotionally and stuff yet. Like, if you're that, like, blunt, that early in the process, it's very, very easy for her to say, look, I, I want something like five grand or ten grand. Like, you're well within your rights to be like, well, that's ridiculous. I'll look elsewhere, inshallah. Like, it's, it's important to do that early, because you can end up having some very, very awkward conversations much further down the line. Like, in my situation, it was much easier. Like, from the day I even knew my wife existed to when she was my wife was about four months, right? So, like, in, in that process, it was all done really smoothly, alhamdulillah. And with my wife in particular, like, all that happened was she was just like, what are you going to give me? I, we, we didn't even do it the other way around. She was like, what are you going to give me? And I just gave her a number, and she was like, cool. You know, so alhamdulillah, it worked out well. And like, I know lots of brothers where that's the case, right? Like, you, you would think just from TikTok alone that the mahad is, like, this enormous fitna among people but when they're actually faced with really wanting to like engage in marriage and really want to fulfill that part of their religion like you, you find inshallah that a lot of people are a lot more reasonable than what you might think so like may Allah bless you guys in your process of getting married inshallah may Allah bless your marriages and uh, that's what I'm gonna say assalamu alaikum